Hi, my name is Kaylee Farr. The poems I'm doing are John Anderson, My Joe, and The Rights of Women, and I'll be singing A Red, Red Rose. Fantastic. You have performed with Arish, so what is it that you like about performing with Arish? How was the experience and what are you looking forward to doing or how are you looking forward to it this time? Um, so yeah, my first time performing with Arish was with uh, in the Cinderella Panto. I uh, had tons of fun and um, something I wasn't really aware until we were like really in the thick of it is that Arish is the only company in, in Atlanta in the city that's doing like traditional Gaelic Irish pieces, things that, you know, as Americans we're really not exposed to. And it's such an interesting like culture and such an interesting thing to dive into. Because I mean, America gets a little boring if we're being honest, love it. <laughs> Happy to be here. It's just, it's nice to explore things that I'm not around all the time and I, that I didn't grow up with. Um, so that was really fun to like learn about what a panto was and to learn about the other programs that Arish produces. So I'm excited to learn more about Robert Burns and like dig into his art and dig into his songs because honestly, it's more prolific than I really even expected. Right, right. So on that note, um, what are your thoughts so far or feelings so far ab ab about what research you have done with Robert Burns? How are you starting to feel about him as a as an artist, as a poet? Uh, mm -hmm. and uh, the works that you're going to be performing. As I mentioned just a second ago uh, about how prolific it is, I uh, gave the example of I had didn't think I had heard a Red Red Rose before until I was listening to it, and I recalled that in the movie Maid of Honor, starring Patrick Dempsey, one of the men sings a Red Red Rose <laughs> to his betrothed. And as I was listening to it, I was like, oh my goodness, what an absolutely beautiful song that I've already heard. Um, <laughs> so just how, you know, how ingrained it, it already is and we don't realize it. So it's been fun to kind of discover like, oh, I do know that. I do know that, that poem. Um, in regards to my pieces, uh, Rights of Women, I mean, it's in the title, like, <laughs> rah, rah, women. Uh, <laughs> when I was doing my little research and my little like translation -y bits, um, seeing like the rights of women are like dignity and protection and good manners and all that, which I, I, I'm all here for. I don't want men farting in front of me and being crass. Like that's <laughs> not what I'm here for, <laughs> but I do, I do think it's fun to kind of see what a man thought the rights of women were in, in that time and to see how things have evolved and you know not only do women have the right to be in a civilized environment but now look at all the rights that we have in addition to that so I think it's kind of interesting to see what the culture was previously and how that has developed um and then John Anderson my Joe actually is probably my favorite one now because it um reminds me of my parents in a little in a little way um, because end of this year, my parents will have been married 36 years. Um, and I myself am engaged and hopefully getting married soon. Um, so I just think it's so sweet. She's, she says, like, when we met, you had raven black hair and now it's gray. And my dad had raven black hair the day I was born. And to see him now, he's a little more salt than he is pepper. Um, so to see how, like, they've stuck together with each other through the highs and the lows and how that's my hope for my marriage and I, mean, I hope everyone's hope for their own marriages right. and to really like have a lifelong partner and another thing i like about that poem uh it's very brief it's very brief <laughs> and he writes some long ones but but he doesn't need much he just needs those two stanzas mm -hmm. to just capture an essence of of mm -hmm. a beautiful relationship so I, I like that aspect of it too. Um, moving on, uh, general questions about you and your background. Um, so, Kaylee, tell us, uh, you know, what's what's your background? Uh, what have you done? What do you want to do? Uh, well, my current background is no. <laughs> yeah. No. Um, okay. So, a little about me. I'm originally from Orlando, Florida. I hold a BFA in acting from the University of Central Florida. Go Knights, charge on. Um, <laughs> rah, rah. Uh, I moved up to Atlanta to be an acting uh, apprentice at the Atlanta Shakespeare Company. 
um, after that program ended, I um, was the title character of The Country Wife at the Shakespeare Tavern. That was in the spring of 2022. Uh, since then, I've dabbled in a couple other stage productions, a small production of A Visit When I Stream. Um, most recently, Cinderella, which was loads of fun and such a big learning experience. Um, also in the interim during all of those times, I've been really pushing to build my uh, green career, TV and film wise. I was really, really, really lucky in uh, 2022, I booked, was it four or five commercials, kind of very close in, success, in succession, um, which was an absolute wild ride and such a fun time. And so affirming that, you know, you're on the right path, like you just gotta just put your head down sometimes and really like just go for it and keep working hard. Um, so I'm really hopeful for this new year. Um, more things like that happen. We're already off to a great start with Burns Night. I didn't really expect it was such a such a joy to be thought of. Um, and I'm excited to learn a new skill, Scottish accent, um, <laughs> and to, to learn more about some art that I hadn't previously, you know, had in my scope. Um, yeah, and you know, the sky's the limit. I, hashtag booked and blessed for 2024. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Well, thank you for answering these uh, these questions, and we are looking forward to seeing you on stage. And I, of course, am looking forward to being on stage with you. So, yeah. say bye to the people. Goodbye, people. Come <laughs> see the show. <laughs>